everyone. This is a quick tutorial to show you how to work with your codes for your badges in the back end. Um, first though, many of you will be using different platforms for your web hosting and so it's going to look a lot different for you. I'm working directly in WordPress and I use Divi Builder. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through how I embed code and then hopefully that's going to give you an idea of how to do that into your own site. And I do encourage you contact your support um, I know I used to host with web, uh, no, sorry, was it portfolio sites? And they were great with their support. I remember emailing them and asking, you know, how do I embed code? I need to get this thing added in. And they were really, really good. And once I saw how to do it, it was quite intuitive and very easy to repeat. Um, but hopefully this will help you. So we're going to be looking at this code here. I'm going to embed QMP code. So I'm going to, first of all, just copy it. It's going to be on my... Um, in my memory there to paste. Now these other tabs here, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to just add it into this page here. This is the resources page on EPMPI. I've added a block down there and I'm going to pop it in here. Now, this tab here, this is my back end of that page. This is Divi Builder for those who use it. And I've gone down to the bottom, I've added my section, I'm going to add in my text box. There it is. And you can see here, this is where I can add in text. Okay, so I can announce that I've achieved my QMP certification if I want. I think maybe I'll center that. And then over here, you see I'm in the visual area. If I was to attach an image, I would just do it directly from here with Add Media. But I'm going to go into the text section. This is where my HTML code lives. I'm just going to give myself a bit of space there, and I'm going to paste that code in from my badge. So this portion here is what I've just pasted in. If I go back to Visual, I can see there's my badge now. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to center it. And click done and update. We're going to wait on my computer. It's old and it's nice and slow. <laughs> um, anyway, then I'm going to refresh this page and we're going to see the changes. Hopefully. Here we go. So you can see there's my text. There's my badge. Now the neat thing, this is why we want you guys to use the code wherever possible. This is a verification tool. There's two, two really really neat benefits to this. Okay, so one, it's a verification tool and many of your ideal clients are people who are working in various professional um, places and many of them will be involved in gathering data, um, checking out sources, and so they're used to checking the validity of different sources and websites and information centers. And they'll be familiar with this idea that when you click on this, it's going to take you, and of course, again, we're waiting on my computer, but it takes you directly to our website. So anyone who's not a member will not have this ability, but they just may have, you know, downloaded the image from somewhere. So this is a verification tool. Now, the other neat thing about it is that anytime we update these badges, and we typically update the year every year, and from time to time, we might update the, um, the design, so anytime we update it, it automatically repopulates, sorry, repopulates in your website and it's updated. You don't even have to do anything. So that's uh, the second really neat thing about that. So I hope this helps. Um, feel free to shoot me some questions in the Facebook group and um, hopefully you guys can connect with each other if you find some people who are using a similar um, web hosting and again don't hesitate to contact your support and just ask them how do I embed code and it's very similar if you're if you were to add video from YouTube um, when you click on that share you'll see that it offers you an option to embed code so it's a very um, common sort of thing and you should be able to get some help very easily but again I hope this helps and uh, feel free to shoot me any questions thanks guys